Okay, what is going on everybody? This is Mike and Jordan from the Backlog Chronicles. We just wanted to highlight and gush over some of the mainstays of the Video Game Awards 2021. Uh, we just got done watching it together, actually. So we're going to go over some Evil West, Sinning with Sacrifice 2, a little bit of that Wonder Woman action, Suicide Squad, and Space Marines. And we got some other side pieces that we want to talk about also as well. But that being said... Welcome to the show. Okay, Jordan. Okay, so before we begin and we start diving into Evil West, which is a fucking rad looking game, I'm pretty, I feel like a lot of positivities around that game. Uh, I was curious though, um, what what's your like overall opinion of the Game of Wars? No, like I think we haven't had a chance to talk about this yet. You know, last time I, I discussed my thoughts on the Game Awards, I was with um, uh, Daniel, Jeremy, and Kevin on NXS on their show, and for 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 right. for me, it's always been a period of I guess I shouldn't say period a stance of indifference. I guess you'd say because yeah, it's cool to like cheer on you know a game that that you really enjoy to see it win and do well. And then you have like, you know, the big controversies that came out as far as like, you know, if a game can't fall within their um, period of nomination, then they're, never, they're not going to make the list. So, you know, it's, is it really a calendar year? How does this work? And so you, we get all this con confusion that comes out. So um, this year, particularly, I really had no interest in it at all. I mean, like I said, the nods were cool, but I was like, yeah, I'm not going to tune in. And then again, when you just kind of struck up a conversation saying, hey, let's just watch this and. I ended up doing it free night, you know, so may as well. And I had a blast with it, man. I don't know about you, but I thought it was I thought it was a, a, a lot better than any that I've seen in a long time because I've casually watched the Game Awards over the years. Um, there's a lot of filler. I mean, I think we both know that it's mostly really just for advertising purposes. You know, they push that Verizon 5G, like, I don't know how many times, <laughs> down our throats. <laughs> but... Um, yeah, great, uh, great, great, uh, great pacing. I thought um, good speakers. The, the 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 game awards orchestra always does a phenomenal job. That yes. that montage at the end was was really freaking cool. Um, yeah, I'm pretty happy with 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 how how a lot of the um, the the victors that came out on top of it. I'm I'm, I'm happy with them. Arcane especially. Uh, Deathloop was just was a really really cool game. And, uh, one of my top, one of my favorites from this year. I'm a little bit bummed that Psychonauts didn't didn't nab, nab anything, but it takes two. Definitely, I think deserved that game of the year nod. But um, but yeah, aside from that, man, it was a it was a cool show. It was very long, yeah. but I think I think I think uh, we'll see a lot of positivity. Um, not just maybe not maybe not so much from the picks, but I think just from everything that we saw on the show, because there was a lot of really cool reveals. And I think, I think we're both on the same page with a lot of these things that we saw. We were, we were gushing a lot, man. <laughs> yeah. They were just pumping them out, man. Like yeah. almost so much that like, I even went into it being like, all right, I'm going to make this list. <laughs> and it just like, didn't hit me until like, I think wonder woman or something like that, where yes. I was like, oh man. Oh yeah. Like, okay. This is what I'm here for. You know what I mean? <laughs> yeah. Game awards for me, Jordan are like, so like you said, like that complicated, timing and yeah. what what makes a game like better than another game and yeah. and all that kind of stuff like i'm not really there for that i yeah. i'm interested in the nominees and kind of like what game is there but during the year like i'm not really playing exactly those games because i i'm always jumping around you sure. know but i love the energy it gives off I love the vibe that it gives off about gaming. I love the uh, like exposure that gaming gets, and yes. like I feel like I don't know. I guess it's just me being like, you know, older than twenty. I guess I would say, because back in them days, Jordan, like gaming wasn't that cool, was it? Right. It was or not. it was, and no one was, was talking not. about it. They would be like, <laughs> it was not cool. but yeah, I just love the. Yeah, I actually watch game awards throughout the year like every once in a while just because yeah. like the energy you know like i'm like man it makes gaming feel special <laughs> so like i'm digging that like vibe or whatever so yeah. yeah i like them for what they are um yeah it's just a good time overall and of course the world premieres yeah you know like uh i was expecting 
kind of more actually from the world premieres uh, this time around, but just because I got my hypes up. But then again, I did get some pretty decent surprises. Yes, my eyes were on WB games like hardcore yes, were, the, this time around, and they 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 took one and they were like, "Yo, we're slipping old woman woman in." But uh, <laughs> yeah, I love the game awards, dude. I love what they're all about, and I know like even like normal people or like regular people would be like, "Oh my god, how boring is this?" I'm just like, "Oh, whatever, I'll take it." <laughs> yeah, I'll take yeah. it. This is better than not, you yeah. know, having something like this. So yeah, I'm yeah. down about it. But, uh, all right, so, all right, Jordan, so our first game up, Evil West, my friend. Ooh. All right, so I'm, I'm just going to play this trailer, like, kind of let it run in the background. Yeah. You you spew, bro, you spew. Man, so I think I saw the title card pop up, and then this animation shows up, and I, I was actually thinking this was a different Western game, so full disclosure, when we, were, when we were typing it up, I was like, okay, it's that Western game, but no, this is not the game that I thought in mind. <laughs> The one that I pictured was totally different. But man, as this trailer went on, you and I were both just like, yo, <laughs> yo, what is this? What, what is this? You know? <laughs> what, the, what the hell? Like, this is wild, man. So picture, <laughs> picture like a third person uh, hack and slash game, but it's cowboys versus demons from hell. And you have magical spells and you got all sorts of wild shit happening on screen. And the plot thickens, and I come to find out that it is Flying Wild Hog that is making this game. And now those are the guys that created the Shadow um, Shadow Warrior um, first-person shooter franchise, which is uh, okay. those are initiated. It is a first-person shooter in the vein of, I guess you could say, mm, Doom, kind of, just because of the zaniness of the weaponry and the demons you're fighting. But the but the, what's the theme? What's the theme of of that game? It's a, it at at its roots, at its core, man. It's basically an irreverent comedy. You you play as you play as Lo Wang, is <laughs> your character's name, and he has this like horribly offensive Chinese accent when he talks, and, and <laughs> you kill demon like really hard. Like that. Like, that's, that's yeah, it's like it it's like a total opposite. Like here we have cowboys and demons, yes. and like the other game is like what would you say like. Right. Uh, traditional yeah. Asian culture. Yeah, like. kind of. So, yeah, you, so you're fighting. You're fighting like triads, but you also demons <laughs> do get involved in that game too. And in the sequel, they kind of took it to the next level where they gave you even crazier weapons and they changed the core gameplay to 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 be more of like a um almost like a Destiny like game because you had a loot system and you had to repeat levels to grind. Okay, it kind of I recall kind of a little bit of that. that. Regard. And I think I think you. I know Mo and I are also hyped up for Shadow Warrior Three, which got delayed till next year. That okay. looks phenomenal as well. But um, but yeah, these guys are always make these really crazy games in terms of like just just over the top violence, but they're still really <laughs> really fun to play. This seems to kind of eschew that um, humor to be more like just a straight up like gritty brutal action game, which I'm cool with, man. Like. Look at these spells going on, and is that I don't know. If, okay, that's, it's probably not co-op, but it looks like you had a friendly NPC there with you. Okay, but man, okay, I think I, I missed that. Just, just the the vibe that came off this trailer, that upside down cross, is so sick. Yeah, good uh, eye. It's good just, eye. it's just, it's just cool, man. Like the aesthetic was was, it's there, you know. I um, yeah, <laughs> I, I think it just totally caught both of us off guard, and we were just having so much fun with it because this was the first game that like I think really surprised us both. Yeah, I think yeah, I think for me what really got me right off the get was the animations. Yeah. And the smoothness of it. I mean, and of course I'm always down for the demon stuff, you know. Mm -hmm. Like right here when it shows his like brass knuckles or <laughs> whatever it was. Yeah. I was cool. like, okay, this I feel like this is one of those uh over the top type of like you know, when I punch him in the face, it yes. indents whatever word is on there or whatever. <laughs> I, and I was like, okay, more CGI stuff. And I'm like, cowboy. I'm, I'm cool with it all so far, but not that cool with it all. Yeah. The yeah. moment I see this dude, yeah, Dante his ass up with back triangle and give him the little six shooter and start just like kibbles and bits in, to enemies. <laughs> I'm like, this is something to <laughs> Yes. Man. I'm like, yes. this is something different, man. Yes. Like, I'm glad they got rid of the scene. I wasn't expecting gameplay. I think that's what it was. Yeah. Uh, and okay, so the motion. Okay, let's get back on the animation before we. Get... 
<laughs> before we get to the wildness of it. Yeah. Okay, so the rag, I think, like really, yeah. and his gear, you know, all the stuff hanging on his back. I think that's what like really got me. All right, but the more the more I watch it, though. So, okay, so you see his gun. Like, I'm thinking strictly gameplay. Yeah. So you see, like, he had a flamethrower in that one scene. He had a six-shooter in the other scene and, like, mm -hmm. maybe, like, a little rifle or whatever. And it looks like he has some type of, like, oh. gauntlets, obviously, with the spikes and stuff. Mm -hmm. But he looks a little clunky, though. Yeah. You yeah. know, it feels like you're not going to be, like... Like, I feel like he looks clunkier than Kratos in God definitely, of War. Definitely, will be. So the thing, Flying Wild Hog, is like, they create, I would I would say they're at the kind of the double A level, right? You know, and, and okay. like, double A games are great, man. But they, like I said, they, they've they've made a competent shooter with their with their previous games like, as far as the Shadow Warrior titles. And I think, I don't know if they've done a third person action game. I haven't checked. Um but um, yeah, I think this will control pretty pretty well. Actually, the camera being up close like that. Look at the oh, moves. Oh, there's that. yeah, I didn't so see. Have, okay, that that little some. teleport dodge. I think Kratos is a pretty good comparison, dude. As far as like just the tight camera, you know, you're not far back like your typical hack and slash game because it's a pretty it's a pretty tight up uh, close up camera. Um, yeah, I like I don't, I don't think you'll be like free flowing. Right. Like definitely not. Yeah, you know, it'll kind of be like I need to dodge right and like dodge back and then kind of like maneuver the enemies like how i see fit or whatever yeah. i feel like the animations are on the money and if there's some type of uh execution animation for oh, like yeah. look at the big demon like if there's <laughs> some type of execution animation for like yeah. every enemy like i'll be pretty impressed yeah, man. you like, know just, and like, yeah exactly exactly <laughs> or if they even give you like where you could melee or you can, like, you still got the over-the-shoulder, like, if I press L2, I'll aim. Sure, yep. And maybe I have, okay. like, I'm not talking, like, 50 rounds in a magazine, right. but maybe, like, eight powerful shots mm -hmm. that, like, get upgraded mm -hmm. throughout or whatever. Yep. But yep. I could see this being some type of linear game, obviously, just, like, for yes. the good adventure. Yeah. Uh, you know, just the straight, like, there you go, like, upgrades, obviously, kind of so cool. fun. And you're just kind of in it for the dark, like you know the it, darkness yeah on, <laughs> there's a lot me. of players so there's a lot of players jordan in the youtube comments that are referring to the game that you exactly said when it played at dark watch <laughs> yes original xbox game from uh high moon studios yeah that was a first person i think you were a vampire slayer in that one yes yeah i i specifically were like i feel like Gosh. i got that game at a pawn shop or something yeah. like the first time yeah. i had an xbox <laughs> Too cool, but man. yeah, overall, Evil West, I'm down. I'm down with it, a hundred percent, a hundred percent. All right, <laughs> hell yes. Okay, next on the list is uh, this was a good one. I feel like a lot of people, a lot, a lot of people, are very interested in uh, Sending with Sacrifice Two. Yes, hell yes, Mike. What do you think I, of it, Jordan? I think when they were. I can't remember what like kind of the preamble was before they started playing it, but I think in my head we were communicating like I think this is going to be Hellblade. I think it's gonna be oh yeah, because he was saying oh, that's right. two years ago that's we revealed right. this game, and that right then and there I was like Hellblade. And sure that's enough, that's right. Man, you 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 got on top of it before like sure I enough, even knew. Yeah, they said uh, they said this is going to be gameplay, and sure enough, we got gameplay. You know, watching that watching them come across that beach was just something special, man. Like you see the lighting and the reflections, and then all of a sudden. It seamlessly transitions into this, you know, that third person over the shoulder camera with Senua, and you and this um, encampment or group of people are basically walking through this uh, dimly lit cave with these torches and there's water on the ground, and you're seeing the reflections, you're seeing the facial animations and the sound. Even the sound during the presentation I mentioned was like was binaural, so you had both the voices that she hears. Oh, out of both your ears. Oh, that was wild, man, that so, was yeah. Was I was like expected. surprised. Yeah, I was, was surprised. Not. I was like, "Whoa, is this?" Uh, <laughs> I feel like YouTube is like, yeah. yeah. I was like, "Did my YouTube update to something <laughs> yeah. like this to do this?" Because I was hearing voices like in yeah. the back of my head and shit. Yeah, that was Ninja awesome. Theory was not messing around. They wanted. They clearly arranged it to be like that when they were sent. When they were, you know, included the audio and assembled this this trailer. So right there, there it goes. It's just, man. I think, I think you and I both um, enjoyed. Um, Hellblade, uh, Senua's Sacrifice. You know, it was it was a, it told a really unique story and it had some really interesting themes and ideas. A few things 
for me anyways fell a bit flat you know the combat was fairly stale yes. and very bare bones and i think myself and a lot of a lot of us you included we want to see more fleshed out combat which kind of we kind of kind of got a very rough idea of that here as this as you start uh, to, to to take on this giant with these spears as you're running um so clearly there's a grander scale in this game um i have no idea what's at play in terms of like the story like what what's the context of this of this battle or why are they trying to kill this person but it's just so gritty and dark and scary and 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 ugly looking at the same time but yeah it's so beautiful um uh I, I, again at, at, at the same time um yeah man i i was i was my jaw dropped at basically what we were watching here and then, yeah uh, i feel like that giant is in uncanny valley of something yeah. that you can't imagine yeah. so when you see it you're still trying to like catch up with what you're looking at <laughs> you know wild, what i mean because it's so strange and so, okay, so here's here's a few things that I, I was, like, running through my head the entire time I was watching yeah. this. So I was like, why is Senua with a group of people? Right. All right. So so when you're talking about, like, how expansive it is compared – like, the first one was just straight up, like, linear. Yes. Some puzzles. Linear, though, straight up. Mm -hmm. And so with this one – I mean, what is who is sending you to these people? It seems right. like she's a leader of some type. Uh, if we're talking Norse lore, I can only assume that's a giant, right? Yeah, no doubt. You it's know, a giant. Yep. Uh, yeah, I get total uh, Homer of the Odyssey vibes right here. Yeah. Where they're like sneaking up. That's an old school movie, just in case for some yeah. of you guys. <laughs> <laughs> like very old school movie. Right. But uh, yeah, it looks uh, gritty, like real, like dirty real. Yeah. Like it only looks like a like just a little bit less shiny than the like the reveal, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. you know, of like yep. of the CGI trailer. I agree. Like because if you look mm -hmm. at Senua's face and her facial animations during the entire trailer, like mm -hmm. the only difference in the reveal was that she had like red, bright red paint on, right, right, and the shine, obviously. Yep. But like even right here, whenever it like zoomed down on her face, I was like. All right, what are we looking at here? Yeah. You know, and you were like, okay, I think this is gameplay, and I was like, oh, okay, okay, and you see God. certain things, you know, but I wish they showed a little bit more, Jordan. Not gonna I lie, know. I know, right? Like right. they gave me the, <laughs> yeah, they gave me the interest, you know, they yeah. gave me the intrigue with like kind of the setup and stuff, but I really wish I saw some sword play at at yeah. the most, maybe yeah. like even some snippets or like. You know those like cut shots whenever sure. like an enemy's like lunging at him and it like sure. she does a little Look something at that. something. It's yeah, man. I think, <clears throat> um, like you mentioned, they had that reveal trailer, which was in engine at the time. Yeah, obviously that was that was definitely really pretty. It was prettier than this, but this is still freaking gorgeous, man. Like, yeah, we. I think that yeah, I think them doing this was just kind of Ninja Theories kind of saying like yeah, we we're we're, we're coming in on this, you know given our best we got we're gonna we're gonna give you probably like what may be the best looking game that will that we'll be seeing um i think it's i'm hoping it's by 2023 i don't know i don't know <laughs> we'll see though yeah this is gonna be one of those xbox mainstays you oh, know yeah. hellblade senua you know like yeah. i understand that the name is not oh. see those facial animations yeah uh i understand that the name is not like very household right now yep but I do believe that when this game comes out, it will be, you know, and I do feel like the giant or the baby giant or whatever that thing is <laughs> yes. gives me a lot of those vibes where it's like, all right, you've never seen this before, really. Right. Not not nowadays, not like in this gen. Like, And if I have, like, I can't really think of anybody that size. He just, like, attack no. on Titan, that fool, ate that dude in half. Yes, he did. You know what I mean? The <sighs> jiggle and all that stuff, like his face, too, even – when she's like, I know you or or whatever right here at the yes. end. Like his face too even looks like legit and real. Even Love it's it. all like fucked up looking. But Love yeah, it. I mean, for the most part, man, I just wish that we saw <laughs> more combat. I wish it wasn't a, a story piece. That's fair. That's fair. But yeah, I did, I... it does raise a lot of questions. Senny was usually like a loner or whatever. I thought people <laughs> thought she was crazy in the first game. <laughs> yeah. And now, and yeah. now she's with people. So yeah. 
it's gonna be cool, man. They're gonna. They said I, th- I think it's 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 just them taking the first game and just expanding on the scope in a really big way. So it's cool, man. I'm if excited. they expand it to the point to where it's like kind of a fully fledged like your kind of typical game where you have a village and you have some Ooh. area to upgrade or something like that, I think yeah. that'd be sick. Like I'd yep. be down for it. I feel like it deserves it. It yep. could literally be honestly if they play their cards right. With Ninja Theory doing DMC, all right, yes, I'm going to mention it every single time. <laughs> uh, okay, so that game like was praised for its combat, man. Senua could be the Kratos fucking equal, bro. Like those I it could potential, man. You know, once she starts getting in the air and flip like doing certain stuff, like <laughs> you know what I mean? <laughs> like once she starts imbuing her sword with magic and stuff, then then you know then you know Hellblade went to the next level, okay? Oh. <laughs> then he was gonna be juggling the enemies. <laughs> oh, <laughs> <sorry>. <laughs> oh my god. I would take it. You're I would take it. Ass. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> okay. <laughs> All right, so the next one's on the list is this is what Jeff said that nobody put this on their bingo card. I thought oh <laughs> I thought that was an interesting uh, th- oh saying God. or whatever, but we'll go with it. It definitely wasn't on my bingo card. I'll tell you what, Jordan. Okay, but I loved it. Okay, so Wonder Woman. I know it's like quick. It was like kind of short in shadows, but thoughts, my friend. Thoughts. Yeah, man. So I, a total surprise. You know, I, I, I would, I was not expecting a Wonder Woman game. I was not expecting any other superhero games aside from Suicide Squad, to be honest with you, <clears throat> or Gotham Knights. But yeah, right. I'm cool, man. You know, I, I don't think we've had a female superhero game. Um, no, right? I, I mean, unless you want to count like, like Black Widow from Avengers, but, but as far as like right. at the helm, front and center, Monolith Games. Um, I, I think the closest thing that they've done in terms of a third-person action game, or at least a third-person action game, is going to be the Shadows of War, Shadow of Mordor games, which really played played pretty pretty darn well. Actually, they took a lot of uh, the free flow combat from the Batman, the Arkham games, and it translated pretty well for the most part. It wasn't as smooth, it obviously, but yeah. they built a, they built a pretty cool. Um, world the map was interesting to explore you had a lot of free climbing um, assassin's creed like and then obviously they had the whole nemesis system like you and i were talking about earlier um i don't know what the scope of this will be like i'm, a, I'm imagining it's going to be an open world game i don't think it'll be a, a linear superhero game uh i don't know what to expect man um i'm gonna let you go dude dc let's go <laughs> Dude, okay, so I was literally <laughs> surprised, like straight up 100% surprised by this game. Like, when they started showing some of her suits, I was like, maybe it's like not a complete Wonder Woman game. They just chose to start like with her yeah. armor or whatever, sure. Sure. and it, maybe the next shot would be Flash or whatever. Mm-hmm. But then they said something, and they just kind of went with the, I think at the foot, at the boot, or at the heel like part, I kind of knew like Wonder Woman game? <laughs> you know so many things pop in my head well i roll over to twitter and i do find some information which is mm. a, a tad bit sexy okay single player open world original story diana will fight to unite the amazons and mankind players okay. will forge connections as diana with uh as diana with enemies and allies as the game progresses okay so and i think mm. uh monolith kind of like put out a little like statement type of thing. Um, let me read one of the things yeah. that was more interesting about the nemesis. Okay. Powered by the nemesis system, gamers will forge deep connections with both enemies and allies as they progress from a heroic fighter into a proven leader. Okay. So remember Jordan, whenever it first shown, I was like, Oh, like I forgot who monolith was. I yeah. did play the uh, shadow of the first game and a little mm-hmm. bit of the second game. So I'm very aware of what you're talking about yeah. and I enjoyed him. And I was like very impressed actually for what it was you know like damn and then mm-hmm. whenever you do the free flow combat you get that little execution it's like slop <laughs> you know it's yeah. like really cool with the orcs yeah it's awesome and i was like that move alone like made me yeah. like that game is dope you know yeah. and then the like mm, with your like spirit elf or whatever <laughs> it was lit dude i didn't i didn't like Ooh. dude they are cool and in the second one dude okay. you like ride dragons and stuff damn okay and just uh so the nemesis program so with those shadow of war games with the lord of the rings games it was more so 
like a rank structure for like yeah. um like an army for example but only the bad guys like it sounds like though what they're saying in here is that it'll be like the system will apply to both friendlies and enemies I think you're right so maybe there might be some like rpg elements in a sense or maybe yeah. like choices or something but uh i do expect like i will be judging them harshly on combat yeah to be straight up sure. um yeah. yeah, like I feel like they did an okay job with the the ranger or whatever. But when you're talking Wonder Woman, all right, potential swinging with the yes. rope, wrapping up, whip type of movement, yes. you know. But also, I'm talking brute strength. Mm -hmm. Wonder Woman, she's got the attitude of a warrior. It's it's not all looks, Jordan. Okay, she is like one of those like straight up like, oh man, what should we do? What's the plan? And she's just like attack <laughs> you know what yeah. i mean Type, like the plan is to attack you know the plan of attack or whatever That's defense is a good offense. you know and she is raw bro in any of her animated films she's raw as fuck and she just shows up dudes you know and it's great and like awesome. wonder woman is one of my more favorite female characters so i hope they do kind of like honestly dude like kind of what i'm sounding like at least or what uh, like i want from it is like mm -hmm. a uh like a uh like a like a real in-depth like god of war you know sure. not like so much the world but just how like personal it it would be yep. and like upgrades to combats and certain things i'll take like different suits or whatever mm -hmm. i hope she does the spin where she like <laughs> turns into wonder woman or whatever <laughs> i'll take some cheesy shit like that i will a little bit a little bit you know cool, but uh yeah if you refer to the movies maybe they'll do some little obstacle courses you know like invite you into the world you know but i feel like this is a long ways out you know what definitely, i mean definitely definitely and you know what jordan i think you mentioning that there's no like lead stay like females you know like I would hope some like girls kind of uh, like oh, look at yeah, this dude. and they're like, "Oh shit, this will, this will do." Wonder, Wonder this Woman, movie. you know, I'll check that out. No doubt, no doubt. That's but yeah, the first movie was. Yeah, the first. Yeah, the first. So good. Oh yeah. I mean, second one. There's no second. There's no second Ooh, one. All right, all right, yeah, all right, yeah. All right. Yeah. Let's stick to games, Devil Dog. Let's <laughs> <laughs> we talking DC movies? I watched Man of Steel today, bro. <laughs> I did, man. I did. Okay. Um, okay. So the next one on the docket. <laughs> this one was nuts, man. Suicide Squad, Jordan. Fuck, dude. That's all I can say. Um, yeah, man. I did not expect it to look and play. I guess I shouldn't say the word play, but um, I just could. I, for some reason, I don't know why. I was just in a moment of disbelief seeing, you know, all of these characters on the screen at one time just traversal and combat running on buildings it just looks wacky i was in a i was in a dm with um with 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 uh seasoned gaming guys and mo and uh one of them i think it was ains that said uh this looks like sunset overdrive on steroids and yeah it kind of okay. does man that had okay. me but regardless the attitude here from these characters their personalities not to mention this reveal was awesome with the whole like <laughs> take over yeah the, the waller. amanda waller thing <laughs> going up um man yeah i i'm just i'm just so excited especially after watching the suicide squad movie james gunn's suicide squad that is yeah the david, the david Ayer one <laughs> um i want to play as king shark so badly <laughs> i want to run up that building as fast as i can pull out my sickles and start smacking dudes into the ground and hopefully bite someone in half man the it's sickles. Just, I, it better be a health regen move too. <laughs> man, this just looks like so much fun, man. Like I don't, I don't. I'm, I'm trying. I'm, I'm really hard pressed right now to think of if if we've had a four player co op open world game like this with traversal that that looks like this. I don't know. Have we? I like. Yeah, I know. Not like this. <laughs> not, not, not where like, it's that not tuned. Like you know what I look mean. <laughs> Man, they, these these characters all look look freaking badass. They look okay. So this is what I heard as well, Jordan. Not mm -hmm. only that, you got these characters. Yeah. Okay. So for for a fact that you you fight the mm -hmm. Justice League, that's mm -hmm. like the whole stay. It's called correct. Suicide Squad, kill the Justice League. Correct. Exactly. I love how the Flash gives you a Kamehameha mm -hmm. uh, or whatever that that like energy ball is. But okay, so it's Flash, Superman, Wonder Woman, I think Green Lantern, and maybe okay. Martian Manhunter. Okay, so, but I read this thing, and 
it said that there might be DLC characters like afterwards that have their own type of like move set as well. And it was like, uh, some other type of like villains like okay. uh, that are supposed okay. to be on the suicide squad. You cool. know what I'm saying? So, so like, like, they're supposed to like, 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 uh, like, like, what is it? Nightwing and stuff they did for Batman. He was, he's, he was DLC, right? Kind of like that. You think? Uh, yes. Okay. okay. Yes. Okay. Yes. Okay. Sorry. I thought you were like getting into like, sorry, no, I'm no, still no. in like villain you hero. Mode. Let's go. Let's but, go. but yes, <laughs> yes. Like that. So like apparently, and this is okay. And so I don't know how like on the ball this, this info is, but this is just because like I read some fucking ex employee from like nether realms or WB or whatever. And he was just like spilling scoops out, <laughs> but man, it seemed semi legit. I don't know, but they did say that there is going to be like DLC characters and stuff too, yes. known character with their own move sets. As you see, like King shark as it, as its own individual as, uh, who is that? Deathstroke or Deadshot? Uh, Deadshot. See, I don't even know because I, I want to be. Too. I confuse them too, man. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> and uh, um, damn it, Captain Boomerang, Captain Boomerang right here. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. So with all four of them being different, and Harley Quinn with her swing, uh, Captain Boomerang has his speed. Gosh. King Shark obviously is the the brute dude. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> yeah. And then I'm sure Deadshot will be like the precise guy. This yeah. the precise cat. PVE. <laughs> Yes. That's what I'm thinking. PvE stellar, all the man. way. PvE all the way. Do you think potential PvP? I don't honestly I don't think so. I Why um, would you? Yeah, right. I think it just yeah, it just doesn't kind of make sense in the universe to at least from a suicide squad yeah. like, like why would they fight each other but okay yeah true true narrative wise but, um or at least if they had like you know maybe if they had someone play as a hero for example but no I, I think that's a little bit out of the scope of what they're going for i think if they just stick to which they will i'm, I'm confident so it's, it's going to be strictly pve yeah yeah i'm also I'm curious I'm on uh the engine that it runs on because like yeah. right off the go man the uh captain boomerang's clothes mm -hmm. like they just look like they there was no clipping there oh. was no like none of that graphical bullshit good, that good, like you don't want to see in yeah. in like gameplay you know yeah. and it's some pretty. of this stuff i couldn't believe like yeah. i was like harley quinn is doing some spider-man shit yeah you know what i mean king shark <laughs> with his power slam and it's just like it looks like you're gonna be hordes of enemies obviously oh, i think yeah. the storyline is like brainiac or something is like mind controlling the justice league or, or whatever the case is you know but which is cool will you kill them i doubt it though but yeah. Uh, yeah. what a blast of a game this is man yes. coming yeah. from arkham knight Mm -hmm. which is a pretty dreary game if you like think about it you know what i mean no like at the end you. if you beat it or whatever you know dark. spoilers yeah right you know and then go into now they're in metropolis so like the whole aesthetic has changed right daytime. <laughs> so daytime, now they're baby. in yeah now it's daytime now it's in it's a like bright mode you know <laughs> i feel like uh honestly jordan i even hate to say this bro but seeing these co-op games mm -hmm. the way they run their like takedowns they got these like executions or yeah. like these these like little you know their own little things but it's like an open world and it's like a beat em up brawler like dude yeah i saw this coming i saw <laughs> this coming like the beat em up like you know whenever you played like ninja turtles back in the day and it was like pizza time with you and your homies on the super yeah, nintendo it's, it's yeah, like that but okay. just like times 20 you yeah. know, open world, dope graphics, like every character has its own like crazy move, you know, and like this is going to be one of those games where it's like, nah, I only play as King Shark, you know what I mean? And yeah. it's like that's that game to me, uh, like Suicide Squad game to me is only like King Shark, sure, you, if that makes sense or whatever. Sure. But then it's like you go over to the other character. I would not be surprised if you go over to another character and you get that feeling where like, whoa, this yeah. is a completely different game. Yes. Now that I'm like using a new player or a new yes. character or whatever. But yeah. yeah. Uh I'm so happy they showed gameplay, man. Because you get a little worried and then you start thinking about thoughts. Yeah, mm, and with everything with Discovery and WB happening, like you're worried about like certain uh, projects are gonna get scrapped or whatever, but it looks like they're 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 doing fine in that uh department over there oh, for yes, Suicide man. Squad. Anything else on Suicide Squad, Jordan? No, man. I just wanted I guess I I'm hoping for a really solid narrative. Granted, Rocksteady has put out some really good narratives with their Arkham games, so I think they'll continue that trend. Very true. Very true. Um, yeah, I'm, I'm excited to see it. just a lighthearted take on the universe, you know? 
I feel crazy. like this has. I feel like the gu- the gunplay has uh, your name written all over it, like the style. Yeah, dude. You know what I'm yeah, saying? Man. Just this like fast paced, like it's multiple gonna be, enemies. It's gonna be so cool. It's gonna be so cool, man. It looks awesome. Okay. Yeah. DC balling. Uh, WB going out of control. I wish. Uh, God damn it! I wish a little Mortal Kombat was shown. But hey, what are you gonna <laughs> <I know>. do, right? <laughs> what are you gonna do, yeah, right? Yeah, what are you gonna do? Hopefully soon. Hopefully soon. I've heard word yeah. about that. Yeah, man. This was kind of like I. It was funny because when, when this trailer was showing, I was under the impression that this was gonna be the other Warhammer game, uh, Dark Tide, but it wasn't because I'm like, no, this is this is a different area. This is not sci-fi, but still, the Warhammer universe is is pretty pretty interesting i don't have a whole lot of exposure to it aside from watching some fan clips of the 40k stuff and obviously vermintide which is which is awesome but uh space marine yeah i know that a a previous uh a first edition to the franchise came out i'm not sure how long it's been but i think it was a kind of middling to average in terms of how it was received maybe it might have been less than that but um but the aesthetic here is cool man you got this kind of like world war ii era dude's getting messed up and then all of a sudden <laughs> here come the space marines with their chainsaw bayonets or chainsaw so oh my god what a gnarly chopping weapon up these guys and yeah these dudes just they go to town so uh again just a cg trailer so we don't really know what the gameplay is going to look like but um we can expect you know a third person over the shoulder um action shooter i uh, think there's a touch of gameplay at there? the end here let me well, see yeah see. right here right here let's pop it in Oh, you're right. There you go. Perfect. Shooting. Hordes. There's shooting. Tanks. Hordes. Yo, what? Oh, my God. Hordes. What was that? Well, <laughs> yeah. Yeah, man. Boom. Um, let's go. I love I'm how the gonna... I love the chainsaw sword. Yeah, it's just it's 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 interesting. It's stuff that you don't really think about in terms of like creative uh, weapon design and character design. Just yeah, I think I think this will be a, a interesting little game just to kind of keep an eye on for the time being. So yeah, that newsletter or beta, whatever that they have going on there, might tune into that. Yeah, it has a lot of uh, badass written on it. Definitely. You know what I'm saying? Like this dude. Aww. Yeah, like especially whenever they're like showcasing like the guy. Like, oh my <laughs> god. <laughs> Like that's that's what I feel like those Marines you rescue on on Zeta. That's how they feel like whenever Chief is like jamming out with his hook yes. shot and like sliding yes. in and shit. That's probably whoa. whoa. <laughs> yeah. But yeah, I thought the enemy design is interesting. I've always heard of Warhammer 40k, like and it's always been around for a while. And when I mean a while, I mean more than 10 years, okay? Yeah. There's like novels on this shit or whatever. Yes. And I was very interested at one point in time into whatever the old game was that you were talking about. Yeah. And I was like, I could get by that, but the, the combat looks jank. Okay. Mm-hmm. But here at the end of this trailer, the combat does not really look that jank. Mm-hmm. And it looks rather fun and very visceral and like Gears of War esque. Mm-hmm. You know, that's what I get. It's like a some type like you get that 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 rawness of of war and like just like that dude you said yeah. jordan that dude's been through some shit yeah. <laughs> got bolts yeah, in his dude. fucking head like yes yeah. for real bro like where do you spend your nights homie but uh yeah i'm down for this game and especially if it co- if it's co-op i feel like that'll be like the uh you know the cherry on top or whatever yes. because it does look like it has it has that like uh, spectacle to it mm-hmm. where it's like i'm slaughtering aliens bro with my <laughs> my sword my chainsaw sword yeah fucking great but all right that is gonna be it for the highlights for like both of us jordan i know you got like a small list of games that you kind of want to want to holler man. at i do man um so we have from the top man alan wake 2 I, when this trailer was playing, I didn't know exactly what was going on. The voice sounded very familiar to me, and then it kind of finally struck me, and it slapped me right in the face. And yeah, Alan Wake is back, man. So You, you were like Jake Gyllenhaal? <laughs> yeah, dude, he looks like Jake I Gyllenhaal. Know he <laughs> <laughs> I'm Jake Gyllenhaal, he's a good actor. Um, I'm excited, though, because Remedy confirmed to us after, after the reveal... Sam Lake comes on and says that this is they're going full survival horror with this, which is a I, w- I don't want to say massive departure because they've always had kind of creepy themes in their more recent games. Control and the first Alan Wake had some very mild like horror thriller vibes going on, but yeah, survival horror from Remedy. 
uh, that, that could be really good, man. You know, um, given their pedigree and Max Payne, really good tight shooting controls. And then Alan Wake kind of introduced a little bit of light mechanics or new mechanics for shooting. And then Control kind of blew the door wide open with them doing kind of like an open world style game with exploding and, and just all sorts of crazy combat abilities. And then there's Quantum Break, which eh, I didn't really feel that much. But yeah, give me a horror game with Alan Wake. Uh, I, I yeah, I'm on board, man. I hope they terrify me because yeah, this trailer was pretty gritty. The end of it was like kind of giving me like almost like Hitchcock like psycho vibes when it cut. But yeah, if you don't know too much about it, it's coming out 2023, and yeah, it's gonna be a scary game. Yeah, I got uh, a little bit of Evil Within type of vibes. Good, yeah, gets a good or, comparison or, there. No, or something like that. Yeah. Like even Silent Hill, like. I don't know too much about Alan Wake, but what yeah. Kevin has told me about like the suspense, like the narrative driven suspense or whatever, <laughs> now turning into a, a survival horror game. Like so I'm thinking Resident Evil, like little objects and unlocking certain things, yeah. like puzzles, but being scared obviously on the way. <laughs> yeah. Ugh, I'm a pussy when it comes to scary games, man. I'll watch somebody <laughs> play it, but I'm glad. I'm glad though that they tested the waters or whatever they did for the first game. It was like, yo, bros, we're releasing this, like, let's see how much hype. And then they're like, Yeah, there's hype for it probably. Because right. I know most people on Twitter got it and and I know a bunch of us old heads. Like about thirty or older, like twenty seven or older, probably know about Alan Wake as well. Sure. So, yeah, no. hopefully that fucking hits. It's cool, <laughs> I man. won't play it because I'm scared. No, no. I'll watch you yeah. play, Jordan. I watch all you right, play on right, stream. Man, yeah, there you go. Save me. Save me. <laughs> all right. So my um, second standout was Somerville. This is from Jump Ship Games, and Jump Ship was formed by one of the i think one of the two guys that were leading play dead studios uh these guys are really well known for their um 2d well 2d and now 3d um side scroll kind of platformer puzzle games uh first limbo and then inside which are phenomenal oh, games okay. phenomenal games uh the cool thing about them is that their world building and sound design is it was what always kind of really shines through and there's literally no dialogue in either of those games and i'm assuming this might be a similar thing where no one's going to speak it's always going to be portrayed by you know what's happening on screen or in the background in the foreground uh character expressions things like that the tone of this is seems to be i would say maybe a little bit more hopeful possibly it, it's definitely has themes of like adventure and wonder you got this whole alien invasion thing going on whereas limbo and inside are just almost oppressively dark and just dreary <laughs> oh but, my but God. it's in a really in a really good way man in a really good way so i just think uh fans of those games or people that haven't discovered those games yet they should they should really play those and i think they're gonna um they're going to kind of recapture that lightning in a bottle effect with this. You know, it, there's something about these, these, um, I don't know how he, I keep saying 2d, but there's something about these, these side scroll platform puzzle games that something that something about them just kind of, I'm drawn to them in such a way. And especially when they have the, um, the, the type of storytelling that we have. And then again, those aforementioned games, plus little nightmares too. Uh, I just, I just, these are, they make unforgettable experiences. And I think that's just a testament to to the to the to the creative minds behind again those titles specifically. But yeah, Somerville looks 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 phenomenal, man. I'm gonna have to hook you up with Inside, so I got you covered, okay. man. You're okay, gonna, you're gonna, you'll understand. You'll understand. Okay, I all right. Yes, it hits <laughs> different once you actually yeah. feel yeah. it. Yeah, I was gonna say like there's there's something about art whenever you don't really need dialogue and it's just kind of given mm. to you like in this certain Ooh. type of um comfortable uh damn it how do you describe it like this comfortable eeriness if that makes okay. any sense yeah. like sure. that that's how i feel like some of these games are you know when you're just you just hear regular noise like no music or or whatever yeah. it is like you said inside has no dialogue correct yeah no dialogue <laughs> yeah you know the ones that just kind of like feed you this story you know and it just i feel like that says something you know about the creators in in storytelling awesome. It's creepy, awesome. actually. You fucking yeah. weirdo, Jordan. <laughs> <laughs> it's all good. It's all good. But yeah, um, it's all good. Let's go. All right. Um, next one, A Plague Tale Requiem. 
a solo oh, studio yes. is really okay. a lot of people by surprise with um, a Plague Tale Innocence. Uh, my biggest takeaway from that was mostly just the narrative and the voice work. I know it was a handful of people here. Um, Crystal is one of them, and I think Mo too. With they absolutely hate Hugo, who is your little brother in the game because he's <laughs> whiny. He's whiny, but again, what I'm assuming he's like six, five or six. What six year old is not whiny? So come on. But just watching these 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 kids go through this horrible, horrible, no spoilers, horrible situation um, that's that's kind of smack dab in the middle of this this really uh, disturbing and kind of over the top rat plague, but amidst the, the crusades. And yeah, it's it 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 um it had some interesting ideas in terms of a stealth mechanic gameplay. It relied heavily on use of your slingshot and various augments to it. It got a little bit repetitive for me by the end of it, but again, the narratives was what ultimately compelled me through it. So this clearly they are they are just kind of like Hellblade. They are taking the scope of that game probably with a better budget now and just get blowing it out the hills. Like we have, we have environments here that are way more varied and lush than what we saw in the first game. And they're there. These kids are obviously a little bit older now too. So the end of the first game had some pretty big implications in terms of Hugo's character, especially. So it's interesting to see where this is going to go. Um, yeah. I, I, I think this is definitely a game to keep a, keep an eye on. And I think it's on, I'm pretty sure the first one is still on game pass. And it looks like, why are they showing PS5 there? I just noticed that. Oh, this is a PS5 trailer. That's why. Um, but yeah, yeah, man, I can't recommend that enough. Keep an eye on that. Yeah, you made me kind of like start to look at the first one a little bit more because mm-hmm. graph- graphically, the second one obviously looks looks awesome. I was already intrigued with the first one, but certain things held me back, like I was telling you earlier, the combat and stuff. But yeah. the second one looks so good to where it's like, you know, maybe I want to dabble in it. You know what I mean? Yeah. At least give it a shot. Little brother concept, like, okay, I can get down with that. Yeah. Stealth, I like me some stealth games. You know sure. what I mean? Sure. But yeah, I, I mean, I've literally heard from all different walks of life about the first game, and they always say that it's fucking awesome. It and so, like, you know, it's just a testament of, okay. So really maybe is. I do need to give that a shot. For sure. For sure. Um, and then last thing here. Arc Raiders, man. Uh, Patrick Soderlund's uh, studio did a very slight short teaser a couple days ago, and sure enough, we got a little bit of reveal at it. And I don't know what to make of it in terms of like what exactly is going on, but everything that I've saw on screen and heard it has my interest, man. So Patrick Soderlund, for those that don't know, he was previously at Dice for EA, and he left after Battlefield Five, or I think during Battlefield Five. Um, looking at this, you know, it, it's, it's, you're, you, it, you definitely have the feel that it is a, almost like a Battlefront 2-esque when you, when you're watching these characters in third person running towards these tall machines or whatever. So some sort of alien invasion. I read online that this is a, it's a strictly PVE game. Um, I'm assuming it'll be four players. Uh, I don't, again, story beats, stuff like that are, are unknown to me. But the 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 again just the vibe and the aesthetic of it kind of like seventies eighties with the, with this with this kind of like cool electro beat music going on in the background it just seems almost like almost cheerful you know, <laughs> um yeah man this right here looks straight out of Battlefront which is not a bad thing because Battlefront while it may not play the best in my opinion the sense of scope and scale of the battle is 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 unmatched honestly like when you watch a ship go flying over your head when you're watching an ad at walking over you or this the sound and the scope of everything it's it's wild so yeah you got day and night i'm assuming this will be a kind of sort of like a mission structure as opposed to um a a, a linear campaign i'm assuming this will be an open world game but you'll kind of get to tackle things um maybe at your own way i think elu in our chat was saying this is <laughs> this is gonna be the proper anthem game we should have had <laughs> <laughs> no, that's awesome. Yeah, maybe, man. Dang. Maybe. Right? I don't. Know I was not. Ex- I don't know what's gonna happen here. Yeah, like so. For me, I was like, 
in awe at it at first until but like the moment it started showing gameplay with like it going over the flat desert mm-hmm. little piece or whatever mm-hmm. with the like flying things i was like okay that looks crazy actually like that looks way better than what i expected because yeah. i thought i thought they were going the route of uh let's fool them with some nice cgi first mm-hmm. and then like kind of you know we'll <laughs> just slide in the gameplay and just kind of like low key it or whatever. But with this, yeah, I see that battlefront to vibe. I played a little bit of, so I, I know what you're talking about. Uh, I see the, uh, uh, how do I say this? Uh, the, the budget. I don't know. Is that what we're looking at? Is that, yeah, is that budget I'm looking at or I'm, what? Because I'm some of me though too, I'm just like one, two. Yeah. Okay. So you got four players right there. Okay. All the way. Me. I mean, that's a lot of open land, though, you yeah. know, unless if we yeah. see some insides of some big ass ships sure. or something like that. Honestly, I didn't notice the nighttime daytime cycle beforehand or whatever. Mm-hmm. But yeah, the gameplay at first, I was like, OK, wow, that looks pretty good. That actually does look pretty good with the explosions and stuff. Yeah, it's pretty, man. And as long as the if it is PVE, like you're thinking Outriders. I know, I know. Or I'll Anthem. Exactly. (laughs) You know, but but to me, I mean, looking at it without hands on, it looks good. And if like difficulty pertains to like four players, like okay, good. But is this what you're going to be doing the whole time though? Taking down big ass spiders, and that's it though. You know what I mean? Is it the case where you get kind of your whole load blown in the trailer, but then? You know, there's right. none of that like sharpness or uniqueness outside of the trailer. I dig the Cowboy Bebop shit, like the yeah. whole, you yeah. know, musical aesthetic and like the yeah. whatever yeah. kind of stuff. Yeah, like, uh, yeah. I yeah, mean, man. could it be like a loop or or not like a loop, uh, a loot? Maybe Looter like type? yeah, that's a good yeah, that's a good point. Maybe even just kind of like um, I might have been totally wrong with open world, but maybe it's like a linear thing, like a boss rush game you know or like a horde mode maybe you know probably yeah maybe 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 like a pve shooter like uh um, because they look different the whole yeah you know, who knows he who looks knows different that. as well pretty pull down for yeah, sure. it abilities. is very pretty a lot of abilities yeah yeah Dang. that's either some type of like scope or on a gun <laughs> or like by binoculars or yeah whatever. Yeah. All right. I mean, I don't know. Either way, it does sound pretty decent, and it just looks good on itself. Yeah. And I feel like the look by itself, the smoke looks good. All the explosions look good and stuff. And I, and you know me, I love me some four v four or uh, yeah. four four PVE. Yeah, co op. I love co op, bro. Yes. One special shout out. I am beyond excited for Marvel's Guardian of the Gal- Guardians of the Galaxy winning best narrative. I forgot to. I totally glossed over that, dude. Um, yes, get, dude. Maybe uh, we talk about that game because I know you beat it long before I did, and I finished it last <laughs> week. And totally well, well deserved, man. Idos Montreal, your narrative team, freaking a yeah, game. If nailed you're not it. Not that game. You need to play that game. Yeah, I was very. Uh, I liked a lot of kind of the winners of tonight. Actually, some of them were surprises that I was like okay with. Like even though I don't get yeah. too deep into them, but yeah. some of the nominees and the categories, I was like more so interested in those side categories that I never like pay attention to. Best narrative, like or art direction, you know, which was Death Loop, like yeah, which is awesome. Man. You know what I mean? Uh, yeah. Yeah, the Game Awards overall, Jordan, for me, was a pretty good time. You know, I see a lot of people on Twitter or whatever. They're like, <laughs> disappointing. No. Disappointing. Like, oh, no. man. Sorry, bro. <laughs> I, I have to say, I think part of my enjoyment probably came from watching it with you, you know, through a party chat, man. So that was that was cool, man. I'm glad we, I'm glad we did that, man. Yeah, that was good stuff. Good laughs. Yeah, yes. like I felt like I could like. Be like, oh yes, I like he's gonna know what I'm talking when I say about that dude's armor or whatever. Like yeah. <laughs> Jordan will get it. Yes, you know. Man. All right, guys, that is gonna wrap that up for us. I uh, hope you enjoyed the video. Uh catch us on the podcast weekly. Uh yeah, and if you did like the video, drop a like, it helps us out a lot. Uh leave a comment if you'd want to. What was your favorite moment of the game awards? I know you're looking forward to Wonder Woman. Oh yeah, uh, Jordan, oh, you got anything? No, man. Uh, Halo TV series trailer was pretty dope. Um, oh, yes. Pablo Schreiber, he's one to watch, guys. That's it. Very true. All right, guys. See you next time. Peace. Adios.
Uh, what do you, uh, okay, guys. Okay, guys. <laughs> I love this shit right here, Jordan. I live for this stuff. Love it. Oh, uh, yes, exactly. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> All right. You can be rushed out three. Okay. 